Hi everybody, it's Waxfraud here and welcome to my very first tutorial. We're building the fishing dock today. I'm going to teach you how to do that. Uh, you're going to have to grab a lot of spruce wood and a lot of grass blocks and a lot of glass and you know how it is. But yeah, thank you for joining today. Feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoy anything or if you like the build, if you want to add it to your world. Feel free, that's what this is for. But guys, again, my name is Waxfraud. Thank you for joining today. Let's get started. So first, you're going to start off by just finding a little corner, like a little lake area, pond area, or ocean, wherever you want. I just found this little uh, this little pondy area. I like it. It seems like it's nice and nestled in, this little creative world that I just found. But yeah, you find your little spot, and then you need to start grabbing the materials. If you're in survival or in creative, you need to have these materials. Spruce, spruce slabs, spruce trap doors, you got spruce fences, spruce stairs, glowstone, and glass for the interior, uh, grass blocks for the exterior, and lanterns, of course. We love lanterns around here. So first things first, just start on the edge of the water and just go one, two, three by seven planks. So just do a three by seven platform. Once you're there, you're just going to poke one out because we're going to go 15 by 15 square. It's easy if you just go one and then go out seven like this. All right. And once you've created your little 15 by 15 square, well, actually, it's not so little, but once you've created the 15 by 15 square, you're going to go through and actually just go ahead and fill all of these slabs in. Once you've filled it in, you can actually go through and act just go to the side and do the same thing that you did over here on the first part and just do a quick three by seven block. Just go out seven and then spread it out by three so it's even on every side. Once you're finishing up, you can actually just go ahead and break any grass blocks that are in the way because it, makes, it looks more natural once it's going onto the land as well. But you should go back up and you're going to have this very, very symmetrical block right here. All right, so we're going to go back to where you started and you're actually just going to put a spruce log on each side skip two go down this side skip two go on this side so there's one in the corner and you're going to do that on every side for these legs so it should still be symmetrical when you're done with the logs and it should actually just look like this it's fine and dandy what you're going to do is go through with your grass blocks and you're going to put them all the way around on the edge right here because this is where you're going to put the flowers once you have finished putting the grass blocks around the edge, it kind of borders up everything here except for the beginning of the dock. Uh, but you're actually going to go through and spruce trapdoor everything except for this middle one right here. And you're going to spruce trapdoor it all on the inside. And you can actually go up over here and you need to put the spruce trapdoors on the outside as well. It's going to take a lot of spruce trapdoors, but uh, it's worth it. It's going to look nice, but close them all up and you're going to do that to every side. Once you've finished, it's going to look like this on the inside, and obviously if you hop out like this, it's going to be trapdoored all on the outside, but there's this one block in the corner, simple enough, put a block of wood right there in the middle, because we don't want to have any exposed dirt, so do this to all four sides. Once you finish up over here, what we're going to do is, you're actually just going to count in three, you're going to go one, two, three, place the wood, and then we can actually just kind of count with the glass as well, we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with the glass, and then you can actually just place one more spruce log, do the same thing all the way around. So it's gonna look exactly like this. It's still very, very symmetrical, except now it's looking a little bit more colorful, but what you're gonna do is bring your spruce logs up five high. So you're gonna add four, you're gonna go one, two, three, and four, and you're gonna do that to every side. And then while you're doing this to every side, as it's five high right here, you're gonna keep the glass only four high. So you're gonna go one, two, three, and then just keep it like this all the way around. All right, so once you have completed this four tall glass pane, you're gonna break it in because you want the door. You obviously want to be able to access every side here. We want it to be symmetrical, so you're gonna break these little doors right here. You don't have to put a spruce door. If you want to, you can. I don't just because I like the openness. But once you have those doors in place and everything else in place, this is basically the structure. What you're gonna do though is every other one up here is for the lighting though, just so nothing spawns on the inside at night. These are gonna be covered up, but you're gonna go every other one with a piece of glowstone block. Next, you're gonna go through and actually just cover the in-betweens here with some spruce slabs or some spruce planks if you have them on you. And it's time to start building the roof. So what you're gonna do is, I mean, you can do this on the interior as well, but you're gonna put some stairs upside down, obviously, and you're gonna go like this. If you place the stairs in the corner like that and you go down, you'll see that they connect. Very convenient. Once you finish the indoor here, that's kind of the beginning to that. However, let's kind of get out here to kind of gauge exactly what we're going to go. But you're going to put a stairs, spruce stairs on the edge outside here to cover up the glowstone. As soon as you finish this side right here, you're going to just take a step back if you need to. But go ahead and go back in and place one more row of spruce stairs right on top of this to completely cover up that glowstone. Still very, very symmetrical. You're going to go down, and next you're just going to place some slabs or planks if you want to. If you don't want to waste the wood, you can just do slabs, but uh, put them right here so it goes in on a flat surface. 
once that's in, you can go down and you can just put a temporary slab right here if you want to. But we're going to do one more spruce stair row right here because we have to make it go up one more before we can make the roof peak. If you take a step back and you notice that it looks exactly like this, then you are doing a good job, doing exactly right uh, what you need to do. So go ahead and just go ahead and put the logs like this. Um, it's not You're not going to be able to see exactly the direction of all of these, but it's important to put the logs right here. So you want to go too high right here. And then you're actually going to want to put one more, so three high, my apologies. And then you're going to want to put a spruce stair right here in between. And this is how we're going to make the tippy top. And once you've completed this, all you have to do at the top, add in a slab. We're going to put in one plank, add in two spruce fences, and that is the roof. That is the roof. Once you have the main structure done, next on the docket is to go in and go ahead and put one, two, three high fence posts on every single spruce log that you have except for the ones on the four corners in here so go ahead and put the spruce fences on once you have six posts that are three high you're actually going to go through and put the spruce trap door in here and you're going to go through and put one two three four and five across once you've done that it should look like a, just a mini bridge going across here you do that three times and you actually give yourself a chance to put a lantern right down the middle of course don't put a spruce trap door like that and, uh, and it'll look nice like this. You go back, lantern, and three lanterns down the front. And once you have placed the final lantern on all of these posts all the way around here, go ahead and go to these four corner logs, place a lantern right there in the middle. Place your last lantern, and as it the sun goes down, you will notice that the, uh, the place is pretty well lit. There should not be any mobs that are spawning on here, which is great. Uh, we're actually going to go in here and re-expose some of this glowstone. Now you don't have to do this, but I just like to stagger it because it adds a little bit more light and also it just makes it seem kind of nice because we're going to head up to the next part here and we're going to put spruce stairs here as well. Once you've completed putting the stairs in, it should look like this, pretty symmetrical on the inside too. And then uh, what you're going to do is take a pop right through the center here because we want to be able to see the light from the outside. So you go through, you're going to put a chain and you're going to put a lantern that hangs right from it. That way when we go out there, uh, you can see the light from all sides. You actually go out here and you should be able to, uh, if I can get out, should be able to see that lantern from a mile away. Just kidding, not really a mile, but it looks good. Once you've completed everything on the inside, you can actually go back to the outside and go ahead and put some spruce fences on the out here to give it, kind of beef up the, the walls a little bit. Once you go four high on each of them, you're going to go back through and actually put a hanging lantern on every corner because we love lanterns. Once you put your final corner lantern on, it's perfect. It should be looking like this, and uh, yeah, I mean, there should be nothing around this area that is able to have any mobs spawning on here whatsoever. Uh, what you're going to do, though, is if you want to, this is optional. I like to do it because it adds some color. Go ahead and put some leaves around. You can actually just add these one, two, three, like a triangle on each side. And then you'll go through, and this is optional as well. You don't have to do this, but go ahead and replace these blocks that are right outside the door with some grass blocks again. Once you put the grass blocks down, you're going to walk back through and actually just put your favorite tall flowers. I actually enjoy peonies and rose bushes more. I like lilacs, but they just don't compare really to rose bushes. Sunflowers, on the other hand, they're, they're all right sometimes, but not really feeling them for this build. But you, you can tell why I wanted to put them here. It just makes it a lot more colorful. Next is to take some smaller ones, and you don't have to choose the flowers. These are just going to be flowers of your choice again, obviously, but you're going to go ahead. I like to just go every other one with a different color flower. Um, orange tulips, you got white tulips, pink tulips, just anything really. And then we can honestly just go back. I'm just kind of a, a weird person, so I might go through here and do exactly the same thing on each side. Once you have finished putting your flowers around, it should look pretty colorful. Honestly, just no matter what colors you choose with your flowers, it should look pretty good. Uh, you're going to want to go through and pick the indoor color of your slabs. Like this is going to be your shelving. My favorite thing to do is slabs, of course. I think smooth quartz slabs do look the best out of any slabbed uh, shelving. And so that's why I'm here. That's why I'm putting these down. I think it looks nice. Once you have the shelving in, you can actually just go around. I like to go to each corner and place a flower pot because there's not really much you can do with the back corner. I like to place a flower that I didn't put in the outside and just put it in here to kind of bring the variance up a little bit. Second to last thing to put in is going to be these little chests to put in here. They're going to be barely under the water, but it's going to be fantastic because you can still open them up because they're still going to be barely under these slabs. There's still going to be a half a, there's still going to be a full slab of uh, available space for these chests to be able to open. And if you're fishing in this dock or around this dock, you can keep all of your fishing gear and catches 
in here. Every All of the items that you get from fishing can go right in here. Last thing I like to do to the middle is go ahead and just replace it with a crafting table so that you can craft anything when you need to. You can actually go around the end and, uh, I mean, obviously this is where the boats are going to go, so you're just going to place boats however you like to, wherever you like to. They can go anywhere. This is what there's, I mean, this is where they're supposed to be. All right, guys. Well, this is going to be it for the fishing dock tutorial. Thank you so much for being here. This was actually my very first tutorial, so just really appreciative of all you guys that are here. Feel free to like and subscribe if you um, enjoyed anything, if you learned something, or if you want to put this build in your world. Feel free. Like, that's what I'm doing this for. Definitely feel free. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to remind you real quick, go ahead and uh, join the Discord if you want to. We just hit 500 people, so thank you for that. And then also, feel free to join me on Twitch for any live streams to watch anything live. I stream live on Twitch usually every other day. No set schedule yet, but feel free to join anytime. Thanks again for watching today. Just until next time, take care of yourself.